Hello and welcome to the Imperial Manor Empire, or the Empire of Manor, let's call it. So, in my imaginary world, the year is 1018, with the discovery of Suspendium, the Wonder Crystal, that has revitalized the industries, has given mankind the power of flight through the skies. However, with this discovery, as with all discoveries, Military application has been made, and now all the empires are rushing to gain new technologies, and war is in the air. So, with that said, let's have a look at our starting position. I have loaded a vast map with uh, mixed territory, so... Ooh, looks like we have... Ooh, a split map. I've not had this before. This is interesting. <clears throat> so... I like our position, it's a good starting position, uh, we've only got a couple of um, empires surrounding us, or next to us rather, I mean obviously in the age of air flight that doesn't really matter because they can fly across the seas. So let's have a look at our starting defences. It's all right. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, let's have a look at the armor. So we'll refit and click on armor. Uh, okay, so it's by the look of it, it's stone wall, which is fairly decent. Um, HP 60. It's got some blast and piercing damage in this early stage of the game. That's okay. So uh, how many defenses has our capital got? Just one. <laughs> Great. Never mind. And let's have a look at our ship. Ugh, terrible. Um, that's going to have to change straight away. So, if you're new to Airships Conquer the Skies, uh, then I'll give you a quick quick uh, explanation as to why this is a terrible ship. Um, these are Suspendium Dust tanks. And essentially they are this universe's equivalent of hydrogen balloons and when they go up they go up and they go up quickly um let's have a look at the armor i mean the steel plate the the main body of the ship is okay uh four cannons it's fairly chunky powerful um my coat of arms the primary sigil is the uh eagle which gives me greater accuracy with cannons so obviously this four cannons great. Um, however, the method of um, lift is not so great at all. So I'm going to be looking to replace the ship quite quickly. Uh, and what I will do is um, I'm going to replace it with um, a classic of mine, um, the Vulture Mark II. So I'll open this just so you can see. Now, the Vulture Mark II is essentially a high altitude uh, marine ship so this is designed to uh, capture ships and buildings rapid um, a very basic design wooden supply hatches two marine bays spendium lift chamber coal to fuel it crew quarters a bridge and a sail that is it it's a very basic design it's very simple but it's incredibly effective steel armor so it can withstand some impacts but the the service ceiling is huge speed is really good uh, and the command every four seconds with a, a boarding vessel like this this is key uh, because you want to be able to um, micromanage and be able to issue commands very very rapidly uh, in order to get your men in and get any whatever it is you need secure so uh, however, to refit this and change it to uh, this to a, a Vulture Mark II, I'm going to need $279. Sorry, Imperial Dollars. So, we'll leave that for now. Uh, we'll choose a research. Now, um, I'll, I'll state now I am using, uh, this is a modded version of Airships Conquer the Skies. So, um, it comes with a number of uh, big boons and changes to the vanilla game one of the which is it gives you more options as to how to invest 
in in research uh, subsidies will be the lowest uh, it's all zero at the moment because I haven't chosen um, a research I'll I'll choose one now uh, what, what I like to go with to straight away to start off with is um, systematic resource exploitation um, this is a modded extra uh, this comes from the cataclystic mod um, and what it does is it brings in um, commercial buildings into the game uh, buildings that generate income um, that will I will demonstrate that as the video goes on and you know, I'll give you uh, examples of, uh, of what that means but here I can go I can do um, distributed knowledge networks now a distributed knowledge network uh, I could start off with subsidies uh, but distributed knowledge network is it's a bit more pricey however the the big bonus of a distributed knowledge network is is the more territories you get you, you take um, the more uh, the more it costs but the more um, uh, research comes along rapidly um, so I'm just gonna in fact because I need to save up money right away I'm just gonna go with subsidies and then I will change it to distribute knowledge network later so let's allow some time to go by I need to get um, what was it 270 odd so another tick and I'll be ready to go so right um, refit open design full show arc 2 open refit now I don't know if that's going to be refitted in time enough for me to intercept that ship which is on its way ah oh I see so he the the Empire of Pale has uh, sent a spy and has uh, destroyed my uh, defenses down at um, Metepolis and as a result he's gonna have an uncontested takeover but I will be able to um, intercept him now and we'll see what he's got okay so oh this is gonna be interesting because he has a top turret um, so my tactic here is I'm going to need to get around the back of him. Now this is where my rapid command, um, my command, uh, issue a command every four seconds comes in handy because he's going to be dodging around, zipping around, trying to avoid me and I need to get around his backside. So we're going to start. The first thing we're going to do is issue a boarding order. Uh, then we're going to move it here to flip and then we're going to bring it down then we're going to move him away keep on this side, we're going to get low, we're going to get low try and get out of that firing arc, there we go because if I capture the ship it's no good uh, if uh, my ship gets destroyed, I need to capture it before my ship is. Ah, my men have failed, so I'm going to have to flee. It's okay. Um, doesn't always work a boarding. To, I find that 16 marines, which is what two marine cabins uh, provide, is usually enough. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm going to go back and try again. And it's the same process, except this time I'm going to move it over here this time before issuing the border boarding order. And again, by the time it's there, Ooh. oh no, flee! If that sail goes, I lose propulsion, I lose the ship. So again, 
Gotta keep trying, gotta keep going. Persevere! Marines always persevere, so. Start, move, get him over the other side. Board. Move. That's it, that's it, that's it. Get to that bridge, get to that bridge. Rapido, rapido. Get to that bridge, come on. Take over, take over. Ah! Damn it! Ah, uh, that is a well defended ship. That is the first time I've come across uh, a ship that has been so good at. Um, Repelling borders, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I got enough to build another how much is going to cost me 611 okay, so I'm going to um, In fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take over one of his territories uh, Borders are oh yeah perfect because borders are really good especially this kind of border my vulture mark 2 It's a great design. I do say so myself uh, is really good at um, taking over this kind of structure especially when the only weapons are forward facing and up facing so board here next command go over here and then the next will follow the action here and so the next process should be once he's flipped around come on capture captured captured quick before my propulsion is destroyed thank you fantastic we'll do a gentle takeover there oh he's going to my capital All right can I intercept in time no can I move to pull the tape oh, come on you bugger come on you bugger Right, so this is going to be interesting. Um, this is going to be very interesting because I have no doubt that he is going to try and maneuver over the back side of this building. So I've put my defenses onto uh, targeted aimed fire. We need to do some damage before he moves over the back side, otherwise, we're screwed and um, it's potentially a GG straight off the bat and what I might have to do is try and take over his capital so I have a shipyard of my own this is an interesting challenge this early on in the game but it happens right so uh, that's no good now so I might as well flee because end the battle He's just going to, in fact, no, I want him to destroy because I want to take back over again. So, um, the last thing I need is uh, the less defences that there are to take over, the better. So, we'll let him destroy it. Oh. This is not good. I'm thinking now actually, uh, I'm, I'm thinking do I do I build another marine vessel uh, or do I do I build a bomber, do I build one of my high level bombers to just knock this guy out of the sky. I mean I do like borders early on in the game because they allow you to capture enemy ships and build your fleet um, without it costing anything basically. Um, until you've got enough income to support yourself. Uh, let's give this one more shot at trying to capture this ship. And then if not, we're going to go take over his capital. Right. 
Let's go, 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 Take over the vessel. No. I must admit that is a well defended ship. That is a well defended ship. Don't usually get that so early on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that up to here. Um because we need a shipyard in order to produce. Right, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Because uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to maneuver around the back here. We're gonna take this fort first and then I can once that fort's taken I can then transfer the marines over to this one to take that down you go so the process here is going to be take over this first fort ah sail's gone defeat what? Oh, that's GG. I have no shipyards and I have no ships. Oh. Right, let's try this again. So, we're going to move around the back. The board here. go so gonna order them to board here now all my marines should come out of that building yep there they go charge men charge might lose a couple here from that rifle Here we go. Come on, capture, 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 capture. There we go. Fantastic. Right, so we have pale. I'm going to have to do a brutal takeover here because I need the shipyard operational ASAP. And what have we got? We've got a medium shipyard. So essentially, we've just exchanged capitals. But I should have enough now for either a border. Or a bomber? I could I could build my sparrow. I could build my sparrow bomber. Uh, and go for and try and just blow that ship out of the sky. In fact, yeah, in this early stage of the game I'm I'm just gonna have to go I'm gonna go for brute force. I'm just gonna have to go for brute force. So we'll build the sparrow. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to take Stormness. Because this guy has annoyed me straight off the bat, so I'm going to consume his empire. Move right. Go start going right. Start going right, you fool. Start going right, you fool. Alright. 
don't go right. Move over. Come on this side. Come out the firing arc. Ah, it's captured. Fantastic. See, well placed Marines. Powerful force. Powerful force. Okay. And uh, we'll go for a gentle takeover there. He's going to go there and obviously do exactly what he did the last time. I can set them to accurate fire, which fires slower, but more well placed shots. You can get a lucky one on the engine. Aim for the engine, lads. Aim for the engine. Bring it down before she can fly over the top of you. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Go on, lads. Last few shots. Get that engine. <sighs> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, and that's GG for that tower. Why is he not? He can't turn around. He can't turn around because we took out his propeller by the looks of it. So he can't manoeuvre forward or oh no his propeller's still going so why hasn't he flipped why hasn't he flipped around why isn't he why isn't he bringing the cannon to bear oh it's just going to take a while if he's just going to try and do it with rifles oh mind you saying that he blew out the ammo store i'm hurt i'm bleeding Medic, man down, help! Poor men, poor men. My poor boys. They're bleeding down there. There's nothing I can do. I mean, this is one thing for me that, like, uh, it's an annoying thing in the game because the um, the easiest way to cheese a victory. Especially early on in the game, because a lot of the fortifications only fire off to the left, and when you place fortifications, you can only place them so far to the right, so you can't place them so far to the right that there's no gap. So there's always going to be a gap. So the only way you know to stop this from occurring is to place down um, fortifications that have uh, weapons pointing in both directions. Which I will be putting down uh, at a later date. Don't you worry about that. However, um, until such time. Right, here we go. Sparrow is on its way. And I'm going to try and take back the Imperial Manor Capital. So. <sighs> Mind you that won't have any ammo. The ammo stores are gone, so let's just focus on right aim shots so the bombs fly more true. Come on, come on. I might have to get lower, even though it's going to be riskier. Come on now, come on now. Boom, 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 boom. Put out that fire, lads. Put out that fire. Take out that top turret. Take out that tur ventral turret. Come on. Go with it. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. Ah, oh, the propeller's gone. The propeller's gone. No. Uh, maybe I can get it in the arc if I go up. Oh, no. I've lost command. Cockpit's gone. It's doomed. <sighs> what a waste. Oh well. 
at least I can take my capital back. So. Move! Boarding action. Yeah. Now, I'm not pushing these buttons here. I'm using the, um, the hotkeys. Uh, if you want to know what they are, they are written underneath there. So you can see what I'm doing. Move. Move, 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 move. Oh! Flea, did you see that? Did you see that? The, my marines got blasted off the side. Right, so... Right, it's, it's, we're playing the game of territory swapping here, so... Let's get you over there. Gonna board there. See, so at this stage of the game, this this is what it can amount to. It is essentially a very scrappy struggle early on with an early empire, a nemesis empire, uh, until you really sort of get that strong foothold. But that's part of the game. That's part of the fun of the game. There we go. Captured straight off the bat. Beautiful. Right. So we are carving. Now that's that's returned straight to me because it did belong to me. Right, we're gonna go take my capital back again. Um, no messing, straight over. You know the score, boys. You know the routine. Let's dance. Right, uh, here we go. Go, 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 go. Captured. Woo! Yes, so that's our shipyard back. Now I have some monies to spend. So what I'm going to do... Because that Sparrow Bomber, yeah, it's... I need... Because that, cause of that, vent, that, that turret, turret it has on the top. That bomber uh, is very vulnerable because it, it's not a heavy duty bomber. It's not designed to take massive impacts. It's just a cheap bomber designed to get four bomb bays onto the battlefield. So um, we're going to go borders. And uh, I'm going to make another Vulture Mark II. Um, and then we're going to try and. We're going to go try. We're going to try and overwhelm this ship with marines so instead of 16 marines we're doubling up we're going 32 marines let's see how that pans out and this guy yeah he's um, oh he's not got any front cannons my what oh we'll see we'll see how it pans out aim shot um He's obviously going to do the tactic where he, he's going to do that again, basically, isn't he? He's going to try... Oh, oh, if we can get a few more decent aim shots on that engine bay. Take that out. That would be nice. Well, he's not. He's going for the... Oh, 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 nearly. Knocked the flag off. Took down the colours. No, oh, no, and then that's it. You see, so now basically he's going to sit there firing at me with... Rifles or muskets? I imagine it's rifles. Let's see what the uh, uh, it looks like. It's rifles more than anything. Because it's piercing rather than blast damaging. Doing piercing damage. I mean, to be fair, they're quite effective over time. It, but they're, they're really only effective if, if you have enough time to shower a lot of um, shots down on the enemy like this uh, put it this way you wouldn't want to bring a rifle to a cannon fight okay that's okay I'm not um, I'm not concerned because um, we're doing well we're doing well build another ship build another vulture mark 2 up there 
we are a marine empire at the moment, uh, and that's how it's going to be for the foreseeable future. Ah, here we go. Pioneering and planning. Right, so... Um, the next thing I always like to research straight off the back is high pressure suspendium just so I can get to the um, large suspendium chambers. Um, straight away. So put that there. And now I will demonstrate defenses. Alright, I'll demonstrate um, how that economy works. So go to uh, build building and I have here uh, so farm what's available to me at the moment is a farm and as you see up here it says maintenance minus one so this is a basic um, this is a very basic production building uh, it's just farms and instead of costing maintenance it, minus, it goes into the minus, which essentially whatever it minuses, you can add into your uh, amount of money that ticks over. I mean, this is this was a very basic one just for me to understand how it, how it worked when I first built it up. The one I want is uh, industrial mark one. Um, which I need to save up 1,262 but once placed and built gets me 68 imperial dollars per tick so it's well worth it now I have two ships right let's see if we can take this mother And it should be easier because you should have less crew now because we've only got half a ship. There's no defensive structure here. So, right. Let's rock and roll. Board. Everybody out. Move. Call Marines. Ah! Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I'm going to have to ground him to get him out of the firing arc. Ground you. Ah, oh, still wasn't able to capture this ship. This is this is Ah, oh, and I've lost one. Oh my word. Right. I'm going to take that land. I'm going to take my land back. Sudan. Because um oh, That is a um I'll tell you what. I've never known a ship be so resistant to boarding before. And I've really never, never, never known it. Um, we're going to try again. I'm going to move him up there, move him up there. We join forces there. Um, where, 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 eh? Where's he? Where did his fleet go? Have I just been given a boon? I think I've just been given a boon. So, in order to wrap this episode up, episode one, season one of Airships Conquer the Skies, uh, I'm going to take over Zangor. And uh, once you've taken over Zangor, I'm going to wrap it up. Beautiful. Just what I expected. So we'll bring him over. 
We're gonna board there. Flip them over, and we're gonna bring them essentially down. Come on. What are you doing? Why are you going directly over the Why are you going directly over the guns? You fools. You utter fools. Oh well. Taking it. And victory! Gentle takeover. Right, and we're gonna wrap up this episode here. So a pesky the pesky Empire of Pale is now integrated into our empire. Awesome. And we have secured this nubbin of land up here in the north. So we're going to be looking down to take Gearbridge. The Empire of Gearbridge's lands. So they've only got two by the looks of it. So in the next episode we're going to be looking to push south, secure our position here. Uh, and... We're going to get down some economic buildings to really start beefing up the cash flow. Once we've got the cash flow pumping in, we can then um, start constructing uh, big chunky fleets. But until then, I've been Imperial Manor. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.